for Gaudi limit, let's recall a well-known limit. The limit when x approach infinity, 1 plus 1 over x to the power of x. We know it is e, the base of natural logarithm. Could the given limit also be e? I don't think so, because in the well-known limit, x approach infinity, while our target limit, x approach 0. But we do notice something. When x approaches 0 from the right side, let's see. When x approaches 0 from the right side, we know 1 over x should approach to positive infinity. But when x approaches 0 from the left side, 1 over x approach to negative infinity. Right? So in order to figure out the limit, we need to consider the left side limit and the right side limit. Let's consider the right side limit first. So limit x approach 0 from the right side, 1 plus 1 over x to power x. Let y equals this part. Let y equals 1 plus 1 over x to the power of x. Then apply ln to both sides. We get ln y equals ln 1 plus 1 over x to the power of x. We now use a logarithmic property. We can put x in front of ln, right? So we get x ln 1 plus 1 over x. We can further write the part, the second part as ln x plus 1 over x. x can be put down to the bottom, change that to 1 over x. You see, when x approaches 0 from the right side, 1 over x approaches to infinity. When x approaches 0 from the right side, the inside part would be 1 over 0, which is infinity. Ln infinity, still infinity. So it is an intermediate form. We can use log of chaos rule. So the limit x approach 0 from the right side, ln y equals limit x approach 0 from the right side. We get, but we can write the top as ln x plus 1 minus ln x. The bottom again, 1 over x. Now we apply L'Hopital. So we get x oppose 0 from the right side. The derivative of the top, uh, top, the first term is 1 over x plus 1. The second term, 1 over x. The derivative of the bottom, negative 1 over x squared. We can combine the top. Which is negative 1 over x plus 1 times x. The bottom, negative 1 over x squared. Then top and bottom times negative x squared. So you see the bottom cancel. But the top becomes limit x plus 0 from the right side will be x squared over x plus 1 times x, cancel 1x from top and bottom. So get limit x oppose 0 from the right side, x over x plus 1. So you see the limit 0 over 0 plus 1, which is 0. So the target limit x oppose 0 from the right side, 1 plus 1 over x to the power x. We we play that by y, right? So we can limit x oppose 0 from the right side, y. But using logarithmic property, we can write y as x oppose 0 from the right side as e to the power of ln y. Then because exponential function is continuous, we can move the limit side to the exponent position. So we get e to the power of limit x oppose 0 from the right side, ln y. We know the limit ln y equals 0. 
So we get e to the power of 0, which is 1. Now we write the answer at this place equals 1, right? But we erase the solution to make some room. So, okay. Now, let's consider the left side limit. Limit x opposed 0 from left side, 1 plus 1 over x to the power of x. For this one, we take x as a sequence. Let x equals negative 1 over n. Then you see, x opposed 0 from the left side is equivalent to n opposed to infinity. So n is natural number. Okay. So then we get limit x opposed 0 from the left side, 1 plus 1 over x to power x. So we get limit n opposed to infinity and 1 plus 1 over x. Now x is negative 1 over n to the power of negative 1 over n. Continue. So limit x and uh, now n opposed infinity. 1 plus 1 over negative 1 over n actually negative n. So we get 1 minus n to the power of negative 1 over n. Because there's negative exponent, we put down to the denominator. So we get limit n opposed infinity 1 over uh, 1 plus uh, 1 minus n to the power of 1 over n. Then we can write it as radical form. So limit n opposed infinity 1 over n root of 1 minus n. We have two cases to consider. Case 1, if n is even number, so n equals 2k. Again, k is natural number, right? So you see 1 over n root of 1 minus n can be, when k equals 1, we get 1 over square root of negative 1. When, n, uh, when k equals 2, we get 1 over fourth root of negative 3. When, n, when k equals uh, 3, we get 1 over sixth root of negative 5. You see, all these numbers are complex numbers. Or you can say there's no solutions for this case, right? So anyway, complex numbers. But if n is odd number, say n equals 2k plus 1, then 1 over square, uh, no, n root of 1 minus n is equal to so n equals 2k plus 1, right? And 1 minus n, you see we get negative 2k because the <clears throat> radical is 2k plus 1. So we can take negative 1 out. So we can negative 1 over 2k plus 1 root 2k. You see, the limit when k opposed to infinity would be 1, I mean at the bottom. So get negative 1 over 1, which is negative 1. That means when x opposed to 0 from the left side, the limit does not exist. So that means this one does not exist for left side limit. So in summary, the target limit does not exist. It is not E 